Hi guys, so I know it is a little bit into February, but today I'm going to be doing my January empties. I'm really excited to share with you if you've been watching my project polish um, or my January project pans, some of these you would have seen, some of them you will not. So definitely if you like empties, subscribe. I do these, I try and do these every single month. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited to share with you. So we'll start with the makeup. If you watch my Pan That Palette, I'm kind of doing a roulette style and I actually finished a palette in January. Um, I started in mid-December and it was the Estee Lauder in Ivory and Taupe. So I finished that this month, which I'm really excited about. I don't know the last time I finished a little eyeshadow palette. I finished a large one um, the end of December, but I'm really excited to be working through some of those. Um, I, my goal is to work through 12 lip products this year. I didn't specify um, what kind of lip products, like um, chapsticks, lipsticks, or whatever. My goal is to work through 12. Um, so I did work through this one where I finished it. And it's the Soft Lips, just like blue cube chapstick. And I have a little bit left, but it was really getting really hard to get into it. So um, I just decided to call it quits because it does go down super far and then it domes up too. So... Um, does it say how much is in here? 6.5 grams of product, which is a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of lip product. And so um, this is now gone, which I'm really excited about. I actually used two lip products. Um, the second one was in my January Project Pan, and it was the Fergie Wet n Wild um, Vivacious Lip Stain in Throwing Shade. And it does have a little bit left, but if you watched my um, Project Pan, I talk, about, I talk about how it got really gloopy. I did take out the stopper. I couldn't get anything um, on the brush when the stopper was in, so I took it out. And then it just became like super gloopy and gloppy. Um, and you can see that there's a ton of space in there. So um, counted this done. So two lit products out of my 12, which is awesome. Um, I also finished two nail polishes in the month of January, and it's the Julep's Meryl and the Wet n Wild Wild Shine in Blue Moon. And I didn't have very much of this Meryl left at the beginning of the month, and so I wore this on most of my nails, and then my like ring fingers, I would wear the um, gray one. I need to paint my nails, but um, I want to get these videos filmed first, so definitely need to paint my nails. But I'm doing a project polish, and like I said, if you'd watched that, you'd have seen that this was gone. The last makeup product that I have, and then I have two beauty products, is this um, primer, and it's the Hard Candy Color Correct Radiant Primer Corrects Mild Redness on All Skin Tones. Um, it was okay. I didn't notice anything. I feel like I need like an orange um, primer <laughs> instead of this yellow. Um, but I have, I'm using a NYX one that I really like right now. So I might end up repurchasing that or just trying some different ones. So definitely let me know what your favorite primer is down below. Um, I do notice a difference and I use primer a lot, um, in the morning instead of like a moisturizer because my skin isn't super dry. Even now in the winter, it hasn't been super dry, um, which I'm very thankful for. Um, so I've been kind of, that's, I use primer a lot as a moisturizer too. Just kind of have that barrier between, um, my foundation and my skin so I prefer to have a better primer I guess but let me like I said let me know what your favorite primer is down below um I'm still on the hunt for one of those the sh a shampoo I used up was herbal essence totally twisted just looks like this and it was making my hair super greasy I did get a perm in October my hair used to be like pin straight and I think you can tell it's not um but I did get one in October for a wedding or September for a wedding in October and my hair was just so it didn't the perm didn't work out before like I've had it before and it was fine but there were some things that happened between like I ended up straightening it earlier than um I last time I had had a perm and then my son just kept pulling my hair like he's a baby so he was just like pulling it and kind of pulled it out and I didn't take care of it as much as I could have so it's definitely my fault but I've learned I'm not going to get a perm anytime in the near future but anyways but this one ended up making my hair a little greasy um it has more of a conditioner um so I don't know my hair has been a hundred times better since I stopped using that 
And then I finished a body wash, which is the raw sugar body wash in vanilla bean and sugar. And I really liked this. Um, so I do have quite a few body washes, but I really just like it. It kind of smells like coconut. I don't know if that's what vanilla and sugar like put together smells like coconut to me, but those were the products that I finished in January. Um, like I said, definitely subscribe if you liked it. I'm doing a project, a monthly project pan in February. I'm doing a pan that palette, project polish. I'm really working on getting through things. So I'm hoping, um, I feel like this is a really good amount to get through in a month. Um, so I'm hoping I can get through as much or even more next month. And I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.